I am JU. You are the nation. You are watching JU Nation Fishing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, this is how you uh, drop the anchor and you tie the buoy to it like this. And this is what happened the last time Captain Chris got the 57 inch. All I have to do is untie this and drop the buoy and then the sturgeon will pull the boat around till it gets tired and we can come back. So this is a really quick way to release, um, your, uh, you know, release the line from your boat and then follow the, follow the sturgeon. Good day, nation. This is JU, and it is a gorgeous day today. Our first fishing trip of 2024. And I'm with my brother, the captain, and uh, my big brother, John. We are dino hunting. We're just getting started, and here are my brother, Captain Chris. Hey, hello. And Good we day. are in the Sturgeon Bandit uh, 2. Sturgeon Bandit number one is now the uh, now is the owner is Tim. And we'll show him in a little while. He's out fishing with us today also. And my big brother John right there. The man with the big fish last time. At the end of the 2023 season, right? So today yeah. we're going for the big oversized one, guys. So hang with us. And our rods are, are all in now. One, two, three four, five, six. Actually, I count that backwards. <laughs> Captain Chris pretty soon gonna put a number for you guys. So that's number one right there, the yellow rod. Number two is uh, Boss Hog Ebony. <laughs> number three is Boss Hog 1.0. Number four is Boss Hog uh, 2.0. <laughs> and then uh, this right here, Big Brother John's two rods. We're gonna have to have name for all six of these lethal rod pretty soon, guys. They've all land sturgeon, right? Are all these rod land sturgeons? Yes. Yeah, Captain they Chris, are. Big yes, Brother they John, all, they all caught sturgeon, right? Yes, they all. We we bought the sturgeon in out of rod, out of the rod. All right. So these are all proven rod, guys. All proven rods. Here we got some fresh grass shrimp today, and Captain Chris and I just got a bite. Might look like a striper bite, you know, it goes fast moving. 
Captain Chris, I think got a sturgeon bite. We'll review the tape, and you guys, you you be the call. You make the you be the judge, okay? Yeah, this this is how I get my bait. Okay, guys, this is how I bait my uh, special sardine bait. Notice the little bait button right here, made out of uh, the bass uh, worm, sinker worm. This is a seven art Gamakatsi hook, 100 pound Dacron, my new rig. And I got a bite and I don't know how the heck it can miss something like this, but stay tuned guys. nation the tide just changed and we are now at the outgoing tide location we fished at the incoming tide location for an hour we didn't get any bite we did see one mark but it's uh, outgoing tide location we marked a lot of fish so hopefully we're gonna get something in this uh, outgoing tide location right now it's roughly 9:40. We'll see how we do. Come out. Here you go. He must see, must see something. And he could turn around here and look at something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There must be something down there. You want something? Yeah. There is something down there. I wonder he didn't even call and call his friend. He's here yet. Yeah. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Third one, third one. Then you're on. Driver. A few moments later. Right Nation, this is what happens when you are a bite and you're falling asleep. <laughs> no, seriously, when you use grass shrimp, you really have to watch it. And uh, if you get a little bite, with well, about three or so minutes, you're going to have to bring it up and put in a new bait. Because this is what happens is a uh, striper or some little fish will steal your bait very, very fast. Yeah, to thay room on yalap. No, I missed it. Yeah. Look at my bait, guys. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, we go like this. I will look at him. Oh. All right, nation. This is Ju. It's about eleven forty-five right now. Captain Chris is right there. Brother John is right there, and we're about to get some lunch going on. I think up until now we got really about two really legitimate uh, sturgeon takedown. I'll probably show you guys that on the video. The rest has been striper takedown, and they stole some of the stripe uh, debate that we had. But the two uh, sturgeon takedown, I think we were too slow. <laughs> that's it. That's what it is. It's fishing, right? Right, Captain Chris? Yeah, like what how fishing is. You gotta be, you know, gotta be uh, patient, and also gotta be uh, vision to look at the, uh, the tip of the rod. When when it's slowing down, then you gotta be ready. Yeah, be ready. And and my brother Johnny is a, the last man, last uh, day of the year or so, right? Yeah. Near the end of the year. Got a big, nice 48 inch that you guys saw there. And But he hasn't had no bite. Is he any bite today yet? Nothing, but I'm waiting. Yeah, you know what that means? We miss it. Don't you get a bite, he might land one. <laughs> Here you go, guys. We're going to get lunch ready. 
Hey, we're copying Raul, man. We start cooking on a boat. <laughs> Some nice noodle going down. It's a nice cold day. Yeah. Get getting ready. Next time, guys. What's going on, Nation? It's JU and his brother, Captain Chris, and John over there. Busy getting ready to go home. About four, about three thirty right now. The bottom of the outgoing tide, right? Yep. Bottom yeah. Of the we tie. we didn't get any hit on the uh, incoming tide, but we got some amazing takedown uh, on the outgoing tide. Unfortunately, we're still rusty. <laughs> we missed them all, but that's good news for you guys. Um, Mr. Charles T. Cook, the owner of uh, Meat Hunter Rods, have given me permission to tell you guys if you guys are using JU Nation 15, you're going to get 15% off of all his rods. And you see these amazing rods, right? The Boss Hawk Ebony and my two Boss Hawk 1.0 and 2.0. Yeah. Um, you can get all that and you get customized names, which is kind of amazing. This yep. rod is very, very good, right? Yep. I caught the uh, nine footers and uh, 57 inch. Uh, it's great, and yeah. I love it because yeah. it, you know, with the rod, you could pull the big fish in, and uh, you don't feel you don't feel anything on your uh, back at all. You know, the yeah, oversized. You know, we caught really oversized. These are all proven rods. Yeah. The three that we have here, uh, we have very caught oversized sturgeon on them, and of course today, all six rod. My brother John, right there, he's got his rod got both uh, sturgeon also, right? Yep. Yep. And my brother John right there. So all of our rods here have caught sturgeon. We, you know, we don't lack confidence. It's still today. <laughs> it's not, it, the sturgeon's got a good day today, but we'll get him next time. As always, family and friend, a lot of good fishing videos out there. Thank you so much for coming to check out my channel. And remember, JU Nation 15, 15% off of meathunterrods.com. Thanks again. Peace out. Woo! Bam! <laughs>